thing was also really useful. I feel like we didn't use this as much when she was like a brand new baby. Thrive Market is sponsoring today's video. So we have a bunch of yummy snacks. Bye bye. Oh, you sweet. Can you say mama? Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of baby number two prep. Basically, I just wanna kinda of get everything out that we have. Obviously we have like probably 95% of everything that we need already because we already have a baby and we're having another girl. So I kinda of wanna just like get everything out, see it all together, make a checklist and see if there's anything that we need. The only thing I can even think of that we actually need is to get like newborn diapers. So I'm not gonna do that for probably a while, but I feel like I kind of have like enough clothes. We just got some binkies, I already have like toys. I feel like I already have almost everything that we need, but I want to just lay it all out. I need to like see everything together and again, just make a checklist and see everything. We have everything, a lot of things in this closet. This closet's nice because it's so huge. The closet of the playroom. I actually just went through and I felt like Cove kind of had like too many options for toys where she was like overwhelmed a little bit. So I took out some of these baskets over here because she would like get into those, which is fine. But I used to have eight and now we just have four and then I put some like other options right there. But anyway, so I have some baskets and toys in here and I moved out a lot of like the little baby toys that she doesn't really ever play with. So... That is what is in this closet. I wanna get all this stuff out pretty much for like no reason, but I just need to put everything together and make sure we have everything that we need. So let's start. I'll get this one because it's little. Parker can get that one. <gasps> Coco, can I see your cute hair? Let's show them your cute hair mommy just did. Oh, that looks so cute. You wanna say hi? Coco loves all these little baby toys. This is for baby sis. That's where she's gonna take a bath. Sit in it. Oh, that's cool. That's the one mom was gonna carry. Okay, what else can mom carry? Where are you carrying it? I wanna put everything in that other room. That one? And just like make a checklist of everything that we have. <laughs> Here's what we have so far. So I'm kind of putting everything in like little piles. So this is like sleep stuff. This is a bassinet that she will sleep in for the first like four months or however long when she's in our room. I'm pretty sure in one of these bins, I have like the little waterproof like lining things and then two sheets, which was perfect for Cove. And then this I actually just got on Amazon. Um, if you guys wanna look up that name, like travel uh, portable sleeping thing, but it opens like this and this was so nice to have when we were traveling if we didn't want to bring like the whole pack and play just when cove was like a newborn and she could fit in this so that was like super helpful if you're not traveling i'd say you don't need that or if you were going to get that or a pack and play i'd get a pack and play obviously because your baby can fit in it way longer but we did love having that for bath stuff this bath seat is the best i think it's like 20 dollars, and we liked just putting this in the tub versus having like a whole separate tub that's like a baby tub just because this is small and like super convenient. I also have baby bath towels and washcloths. I didn't bring those in here, but we have those, so I don't need any more. And then I'll probably just stock up on baby body wash, like actually closer to when she's gonna be born. And she'll just use the same one Cove uses. We love Tubby Todd. And then these were our two little like baby Oh wait, I need the, will you bring the snuggle me? We also need the snuggle me. We used this a ton when she was a newborn. I actually have two of them. Literally Luma used one because she always wanted to be in the one that Cove was in. Super useful for like, if you want to set them on a couch or something when you're next to them and they're a newborn. We loved that. This thing was also really useful. I feel like we didn't use this as much when she was like a brand new baby, but I feel like we more will with, or we will more with this second baby just because I don't know, things will be like crazier and whatever. Um, so. If I needed to like take a shower or basically just do anything, you can easily like carry this around the house, which you can with this too. But like in the bathroom, this would just be on the ground. So this was really nice, some kind of like rocker chair. And then the swing, this is the Mama Roo. We did like this one. It can like recline different amounts. It has music and movement and whatever. So these are the little play things that we use. They're not laid out that well, but this was a play mat that we used a ton 
ton. And then this part is like a little tent that goes over it. And then this, we loved laying her, her underneath it. And it has like things that you can hang on it, like toys and stuff. So that was also really helpful. So we had those two little play things. We have the car seat. This is the Nuna Pippa car seat and we loved it. One of my favorite things is that it has a built-in shade thing. So it was really nice for if we took Cove out and she like needed to take a nap because it just makes it a little bit darker and quieter. We have that. And then I have these three bins of clothes. I am gonna go through and kind of separate them. I think they're already pretty separated into piles of just like by size, but I just wanna make sure that I have enough newborn. I don't know, maybe I don't need to actually separate them. And I'm not gonna get the new clothes out for a little bit, but this one is like really organized. Let me just open both of them really quick. Okay, so these are the bins that I have. So I'm not gonna take everything out of this one. Thought maybe I would, but it's already like so organized. So this is everything that I have for newborn. So it's that much stuff. I think this might be newborn to um, like zero to three months too. And then each section is for like a little bit bigger. I think over here is like six to nine months, three to six. So I'm not gonna take those out. This bin is full of just more like random stuff. There's some like holiday PJs in here, a lot of bows some shoes that I feel like we can definitely reuse these because they like didn't hardly even get worn. These were my favorite little booties for Cove when she was a baby. I hardly ever had her in shoes, but she literally just had this like one pair if we ever needed them. And then this stuff is what I kind of want to organize right now. So this is a Solly baby wrap, which I loved when Cove was a newborn. I have two bins of used stuff and then a bin of stuff that is new that I'm sure that I'll add to, but we already have like a ton of baby clothes obviously i have all these wellaments things these are for like if your baby gets sick um this is like cough syrup vitamin d drops gripe water these were super nice to have when cove was a baby i got baby girl a couple new bows these are from bloom head wraps which was like one of my favorite bow companies they're so cute still feels weird honestly to say baby girl because i was so sure that it was a boy and i just cannot believe still that it's a girl and i've known for like i don't even know how many months okay yeah so we have a few new outfits for her solly baby sent these pjs which i actually showed a little while ago when they sent them and i was trying to cover up like the fact that i have like a pink one and whatever but they have these cute little sleepers so pink uh a, like green one a green printed one and a yellow one so these will be nice we really liked these i actually really like either knotted gowns for newborns because when you change their diaper they are swaddled so we liked this ollie swaddle so it like wraps around them like this and you tie the bottom but if you need to change their diaper you can like keep them swaddled and just untie the bottom and then if they have a knotted gown on too then you can just untie that part and then change their diaper so i feel like you can use knotted gowns for like boys or girls obviously and they're just the best but I also really like separates, again, because you can like just take off the bottoms if you need to. So Cove had a bunch of zipper PJs and stuff too, but separates were also just like super nice for that reason. And I feel like they're just more convenient. Cove has so many clothes. I also showed these little utensils the other day from Mushy. We got a bunch of binkies. So I have one, two, three, four, five, I think. And then I just ordered some Bibs binkies too. Actually, did I order those? Because I got them on Amazon and I haven't seen them. I also got the new baby some socks, even though honestly with Cove, we like never used socks. But since this baby will be born a little bit closer to winter, I got her some. I also have a binky clip, but I want to get more of those. So I'm going to write Binky. What I need is newborn diapers. We're stocked up on wipes. We have a bunch. And even if we stocked up now, we'll probably use them by the time that we have a baby because obviously we have another baby that's also in diapers. Newborn diapers, Binky clips. Oh wait, the Binkies. The other Binkies I got got delivered. So I'm going to go grab those really fast. Okay, so I grabbed those Binkies. I accidentally got size two, which says for six plus months, but I'm pretty sure this is all that Cove ever used even as a newborn. So I think these ones are, yeah this says zero to six months and then this says six plus so i'll probably try to like use these first but we always had a bunch of binkies like everywhere because it was just really convenient so um i have those i have all this wellament stuff like i said i have a binky clip so i need to order more of those these are the new outfits she has little sleepers 
three new outfits in zero to three months, a few bows, socks, and then I'm sure I'll get her some other like new outfits. Um, I know she has one somewhere that like matches Cove that I'm saving for when they're bigger, but should be lots of goodies in here. My list so far says newborn diapers, binky clips. We need to get another baby monitor. We really like the lollipop cam because you can just like, it's like a stick kind of that like folds and bends so you can hook it onto anything. Um, I need another sound machine. I also need to get a few like postpartum things. So I'll talk about that later when I'm like obviously closer to having the baby. I'm trying to think if there's like anything else obvious that i'm missing so if you guys have any essentials that i haven't shown comment them down below but these are pretty much i feel like most of the things that we used for a newborn it feels like a lot but i don't know i feel like i only have like mostly things that we use a ton yeah i just wanted to get all this out see it together make a checklist and i think we're good for now we have like 16 more weeks i think i have 17 technically if I went to 40 weeks, but I'm not planning on going that far. So right now I'm at 23 weeks and hopefully the baby comes early. So I'm planning, I'm like counting down from 39 weeks. So I have 16 more weeks. We have like four more months. So I have plenty of time to prep and get anything else that we need, but I'm feeling pretty good about everything that we have. All right, next up on our to-do list today is to open our Thrive Market box. Thrive Market is sponsoring today's video. So we have a bunch of yummy snacks. Let's see. Let's tell them about Thrive Market. What's that? Are you so excited? So what with Thrive Market, your membership sponsors a free one for a family, teacher, student, veteran, or first responder in need. Their community is committed to making healthy living easy and affordable for every family. These products are from brands that support fair trade, ban GMOs, prioritize sustainability. Of course, Cove went straight for the candy. This box and its contents are 100% recyclable and shipped with a carbon neutral footprint. So I'm gonna do a little haul. Did you get some candies? And show you guys what we picked out this month. I always try to not buy like a ton of junk food when we go to the store, but then we don't really have like a lot of snacks. So that's what I love about Fred Market is I can order everything online. They have their app or their website and they have tons of healthy different options. So I get a lot of our like snack foods from here. They, on their website, you can sort it by like gluten-free, vegan or whatever you need. So I always just click the vegan button and fill up my car and I always feel like I get so much stuff for how much I pay. I usually spend like a hundred bucks and we get lots of good stuff. Look, I got you pretzels, more. Cove loves pretzels. We got cauliflower pretzels. You can also choose the type of membership you want with Thrive Market. They do a monthly membership that I think is $9.95 a month. Yeah, $9.95 a month for one month membership or a 12 month membership that is $5 a month. You wanna open these ones too? Um, we love these chips. These are sweet potato chips. These actually sound really good. And I do have a link down below if you guys want to check out Thrive Market. You can join today and get 25% off of your first order and also a free gift. So link is down below. We love it. We get boxes literally like all the time. It's also risk free to try it. So definitely check that out. I also got these ones. These are smoky barbecue from same brand and then i got a bunch of these these are like little rice ramen packets should we eat this for lunch <laughs> you want to okay we'll eat this with some veggies i got three of those another thing of these chips i also love the convenience of microwave rice packets so i got this um i got two of them we also got this organic plant protein this is vanilla and i got rice and black beans which will be super easy oh ooh, look what mom got ooh, these are my favorite we have these up in our office and when i saw them on yeah. thrive website, you want one mm -hmm. when i saw them on thrive market's website i was so excited to order oh my goodness these are gonna be so good yeah. Yeah. what yeah. do you know yeah. what it's called are you saying sucker mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's a sucker you opened it by yourself. I also got Three Wishes Cinnamon Cereal. I love cereal, like as a snack, just like dry cereal. This is Daya Dairy-Free Mac and Cheese, Dairy-Free Alfredo Sauce. This is Rice Pilaf, but I thought it looked good. Got two of those. And, oh, I forgot that I got these. These look so good. This is like berry cereal. And these ones are um, zero waste, non-GMO, always organic contains fruit and veggies no artificial flavors colors so yeah thrive just has like great options like that i got another thing of barbecue chips 
Parker will like those. We got some honey. You also can take a quiz on their website um, if you want them to give you recommendations on things that they think that you might like. Ooh, I got enchilada sauce. Two packs of those. A lot of the time when you like pick something, it will come with like multiple. It's like a pack of two, which I really like. And then I also got you some chili. Do you like chili? Yeah. Are you eating that sucker the right way? She usually just like chomps it. We also always get smart sweets from Thrive Market. So I got three things of tea drinks, which are my favorite. And then um, I get a lot of seasonings from there too. So I have fajita seasoning, which I don't know if I've tried this one before. I also got vegetarian brown gravy. So as you can see, packs of two for everything. So this is everything I got. I think I spent around $100. Yeah, that's our little grocery haul for today. What time is it? It's like 10.30 and I'm like starving for lunch already. So we might eat lunch a little bit early today, but link down below to check out Right market. I'm also gonna link this sink that we just got for Cove. We got this yesterday. Um, I think it was like 35 bucks on Amazon maybe, but it has like a pump so you fill it up with water and then it just continually goes so she can like play with as much water as she wants because it's not being wasted. It's just like being cycled back through and she has been loving this so far. We need to take it outside because she does spill it everywhere. So it like gets all over the ground. But anyways, I also thought of another thing that I need to put on my list that I added to my list. I wanted to mention in case any of you guys are actually like using this video as a reference for like things you should get but i do need to get a few bottles last time i stocked up on like a few different kinds i just didn't really know how often cove would have a bottle so i think i had like 10 bottles maybe and that was kind of a lot you can always like buy more if you need more but this time i'll probably start with like two maybe four because I'm gonna get a hand pump. I have an electric pump, but my favorite out of all of them was the hand pump just because it was the easiest. So I think that's like 20 bucks at Target. I need to get a new one of those because I don't know where my other one is. And I'm pretty sure that came with two bottles. So I might just get like one extra pack just to have. Besides that, I think that's like most of the stuff, but definitely a pump and some bottles I added to my list. Mama, how can I help you? Papa? I know, you wanna to listen to who let the dogs out, but daddy's not here yet. Okay, it's a few hours later. We just got back from running some errands, and since we are all stocked up on snacks, Dad! I thought, what, a peach? <laughs> yeah, you've been asking for a peach, huh? Okay, just one second. Um, Since we're all stocked up on snacks, I thought that I would do something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is set up a little like snack area for Cove so that she can get her own snacks and ideally her own water. She's always asking us for water. We usually just have like a sippy cup for her. I'm literally out of breath from like, picking her up and putting her back down. Um, we have this cabinet over here and she knows how to open it. So I think it would be good if we cleared some of this stuff out because we actually don't use all of this stuff anymore. She rarely uses her baby utensils. I usually just give her like normal ones that we have. Um, we do still use these plates a lot, so I'll keep these, but I'm thinking down here, I'm gonna clear out these baskets and kind of just like reorganize some stuff. And I'll have a bin with like some snacks for her and I'll just refill it every day so that it's like an appropriate amount of food for her because I think that if I gave her like unlimited access to snacks, which I don't wanna limit her food, but I just know she would literally eat like every single thing because she loves snacks. So if it's gone, I can just like refill it up or whatever. But we don't really use a lot of like bibs for her anymore or her placemats for her high chair. We use them a ton when she was younger. A lot of this stuff is from the Saturday Baby, which is my favorite. We also have a few things from Mushy, which I love. Saturday Baby just came out with these new cups that I think I've shown. So basically I'm going to try to condense everything we still use into two bins and then have one bin for snacks. And then I want to look for some type of like water dispenser that she can like get her own water from, but and like use these cups. But realistically, she doesn't like these as much as she likes her sippy cups. So she could refill those herself, but yeah, I'm just gonna see what I can do. Cause I think this will be really helpful for her. And especially with the new baby coming, we've been trying to think of just like anything that we can start doing with Cove, like anything else that will, that will help her just be more independent, like being able to get her own snacks, get her own water, even just like learning how to put her shoes on and take them off and like cleaning up and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna organize this and see what I can do. If we grab that bin that has the baby stuff, that has like baby food stuff, we have some stuff in storage already, but I definitely wanna save most of this stuff for the second baby. Yeah, I'm gonna get started with organizing. Settle down, there'd be many nights I got too hot and almost left town, but there's something about you, something 
Here's what we have so far. I reorganized these and I'm trying to decide what to do. I want her to start like getting her own plate out and stuff. Like when I'm making lunch, I can ask her to like go get a plate. And I was gonna put away her silverware, but I figured that's also a good thing that she can kind of be like learning to do. She normally just uses like our silverware, but I think it will be good for her to learn how to like get her own plate or her own bowl and get her own silverware. She can also get um like her own cup. I have some place mats back here. These munchy mats are the best. It's like like we don't use them at home, but it's like a placemat thing that's sticky. It sticks to the table, so we use it when we go out to eat at restaurants and stuff. But I have that stuff up here. I don't have anything in this one right now, but I put some snacks in here. So she's got four options of things to eat. And then I want to get her a little um, water dispenser. I might get her this cute little like panda one. I feel like that would be easy for her to just like learn how to get water in her own cup. And then I can just refill her snacks like as I need to and redo it every morning. I have blackberries in there so it's like the end of the day now we're making dinner but so I'll make sure she eats those today but the rest of the stuff can definitely like sit out for at least just like one day it might get a little bit stale I'll kind of reevaluate after I see like how many snacks that she's eating in a day so I think I'll probably move this out put the panda thing right there put her cups right there and then basically just see how this goes and I could also put like a couple plates in there a day and some silverware if she I feel like she can reach these but just if she couldn't basically I'm just gonna see how this goes maybe I'll go get her actually and see if she wants to look at these snacks maybe not because it's time for dinner but look what's in here baby are you just getting into stuff that mom just cleaned? Look what's in here. Do you want to see your new snacks? Coco, look. Do you want snacks? Come see what's in this basket. You see? What's in here? Oh my. She's not interested. She just wants to play. Oh, what do you see? Those are snacks. Dad. What is that? Dad. Yeah, those are some snacks. You can take out the whole thing. You just take it out like this and then you can eat it. Can you hold it? Um, that thing I just showed you guys, I realized it's too big. So I ordered a smaller one that's only like nine inches. So it's pretty small. So I think what I might actually do is just take one of these out and have the water thing there, the cups, and then just set the snacks like right next to it so I can fill up um, a basket. What? Did she get your snack? So instead of having the snacks in a basket, I would just have everything like right here and take this basket out since these are already in their little bowls. I think that she likes it. She took a snack. I think that's also going to be all for the vlog today. We are just making dinner right now for the rest of the day and then we're going to hang out. I actually just sent Parker to the store for literally one thing, cilantro. And I know that I had two things of cilantro when I got groceries like two days ago and I must have thrown them away on accident. I don't even know. We need it's just that one thing so he is doing that right now and i've just been finishing this up and i'm going to take over whatever he stops doing so that is going to be it for today's vlog don't forget to check out five market they're going to be linked down below so make sure you guys check them out and that is it so i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys can you say bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. oh you sweet can you say mama mama dada dada luma dad dog Nobody never knows